Hello, I am Sin Sage, finally on Queer Porn TV. To me, like, what I feel, I guess I can say that I never really felt comfortable with the title, like, bisexual. That just doesn't, like, for me, for my own sexuality, it feels too limiting and, like, bi. Two things only, you know? And... I feel like my sexuality is just like completely fluid and open and um, I am attracted to a human being and I don't care if their top matches their bottom, their inside matches their outside, whatever it may be, like I'm attracted to a person and gender just doesn't matter to me. <laughs> so. Like for me, that's that's what defines queer, I feel. What I feel very strongly about, I mean, queer activism, uh, just LGBTQ across the board, I feel like if you are a part of this community, this is the time where we need everyone to step up. Like now more than ever, like we're so close to, to, um, changing people's minds on a really deep and widespread level and it's happening right now in America and it's, it's happening all over the world um, you know aside from those backwards Middle Eastern countries <laughs> but um, but here you know where we live and where we exist it's, it's so it's so important to to step up and take a stand and like not back down about who you are as a person, it's um, it's your life, it's your identity, it's yourself, and you need to discover it, you need to accept it, you need to embrace it, and you need to make other people okay with it. And if they're not, then they shouldn't, then they don't deserve to be in your life. I, I feel so strongly about this. And um, so, you know, one of the ways that I've... Um, Kind of tried to contribute is I volunteer at Prides with the HRC. I'm a member of the HRC. I donate monthly. Um, I try to get as involved with them as I can um, because I just feel that they're 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 our voice. And God, it, when you go to these Pride events and you meet people and you're like, come over here, like look what we're doing look at the change we're making now more than ever and there are still so many states where you can be fired from your job for being gay or lesbian or transgender like how is that even possible it's 2013 like it's still happening and and we need more people within our community to feel this passion and not feel like apathetic about it or like I can't make a difference or I can't change anything we are the only ones who can change anything and so we have to get that fire under our ass and that passion in our heart for something that should already be but unfortunately is not and um and I I have that fire and it's constantly burning every single day and um I just I I want to touch as many lives with my work with my um like internet presence I, I want to let people know how important it is to to be yourself on every level and um to to expect acceptance for being who you are mm -hmm. and you should accept nothing less it's definitely important to me to show authentic queer desire in my scenes um, but I don't even think of it like that. Like, I don't even, I don't even go into it with like, I need to think this way, I need to feel this way, I need to act this way. Like, it's just not like that. For me, it's just fully 100%, it's natural desire. <laughs> and as a performer, like, I share my desire, I share my passions. Um, on the screen and on the camera and you know there's definitely been situations that I in, in which I was put where it was uh, you know well any of us who work in this industry know that you can be put with someone who doesn't share that passion or 
that natural desire. Um, but even in those cases, I, I do my best to try to make them feel that. And even if I feel that they're not giving it back to me, I'm fairly certain that I'm coming across as trying to get that from them. And um, that, so, uh, I show, it's just me being me. Like, <laughs> it's just a natural, desire that I have to to be with women and um, yeah to just be sexual and be honest and be myself in my life you know I haven't had the opportunity to be with a lot of transgendered or transsexual people and that's a fantasy that I have for sure um, so I was able to be with a transsexual performer um, um, male to female and uh, her name is Drew DeVoe and I was as we relished that scene and it was very intense and passionate and energetic and I'd love to work with her again anytime all right basically like you can only get so far within these certain realms and you can be the best performer that anyone's ever seen, but if X, Y, and Z company have not shot you, you're not gonna get any recognition, in a sense. So it's like, for me personally, like I've been, like everyone I work with is like, ah, oh, you're amazing and you're so great and they love working with me and they love like being around me and it's so awesome, but you know, uh, like on a more public scale, like in the mag trade magazines or like, uh, you know, these awards shows, events, um, to get recognition for being an outstanding performer, it doesn't happen. So I've been doing this for 10 years and I, you know, what can I say? Like, I know that I'm really good at it. I get recognition in personal emails that um, queer or lesbian or whatever people send me and they're like, I used to never watch porn and then I saw you. I used to think all porn was fake until I saw you. I um, used to be ashamed of who I am. I didn't want to let anyone know. I was afraid, da da da, -da. and then following you on Twitter and seeing how you are made me realize I can be whoever I want to be and things like this like and honestly what means more that totally means more <laughs> so yeah I I hope that I can be accepted uh, within the queer community for feeling the way that I feel and being who I am and doing what I do and uh, that's that's a community that I've always, uh, you know, I've been a part of, I've felt a part of, and I've always wanted to be accepted into. And so I hope you enjoy what I do and you go check me out elsewhere and you see my uh, genuineness. <laughs>